Praise the Lord, everyone, and welcome to the God Seller 7 channel. I'm Sister Barbara, and I have a message uh, that I'd like to read uh, to you today. It's from the Lord, and um, I'm going to start, I'm going to be in Psalm 32, and chapter, uh, chapter 32, verses 8 to 11, and I'm in the King James Version Study Bible. I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will guide you with my eye. Do not be like the horse or like the mule, which have no understanding, which must be harnessed with bit and bridle, else they will not come near you. Many sorrows shall be to the wicked, but he who trusts in the Lord, mercy shall surround him. Be glad in the Lord and rejoice, your righteous, and shout for joy, all you upright in heart. Now this message I'm going to say is a message that's unusual to me because um, usually I get messages like this during the night and they're only for me. And what was different about this uh, message from the Lord is I got it during the day and I'm going to say it was like I was um, sitting speaking to one of my good friends, which I, I, he is my good friend. Uh, and I know the Lord in different, uh, I'll say, capacities as uh, my father, like I said, my friend, uh, my healer, uh, my strength, my comforter, um, my helper. And in this instance, and again, I usually get these and they're my personal, I'll call them teachings or instructions. Uh, this is where he is the teacher. And this message is for everyone. So that's what's unusual about it. So the message is this, in all ways man falls short of perfection. Many through ritual and repetition think they can enter in and sup with me, but they err as only my grace shall suffice. Man's rituals serve no part in their salvation. Can a man through his own works find salvation? Unless the need is so great, he does not seek after me. I have given ample time to find me. Many search the scriptures seeking answers. When the Holy Spirit comes upon you, the Spirit shall lead and guide you. Many dismiss my spirit and follow after their own desires. I have made an appointed time for all events to come. The order is perfect. The time will not be changed. All events will be fulfilled as scripture teaches. I am giving you instruction so you may be prepared. Again, a very unusual message from the Lord uh, telling me and all of my viewers out there that there's a point in time, he has made an appointed time for all these events that we're going to see, uh, let's just say, shortly. He's made an appointed time, the time is perfect, it's not going to be changed, it will be fulfilled as the scripture teaches. And he's giving us instruction so we may be prepared. What an awesome message that was uh, and a blessing to me. And uh, it's a blessing that I'm able to share that with you. Um, so again, uh, I want to thank you for tuning into the God's Hiller 7 channel. And again, I'm going to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. You can read about that in Luke 419 and uh, in Isaiah 61, I believe 1. And that is where the Lord offers a complete cancellation to your spiritual debt and a brand new beginning to anyone that responds to his message. I have a prophecy up there called September 23rd, 2015, Yom Kippur, Day of Atonement. Uh, the Lord had given me a prophecy message back in January telling me that I am to proclaim his message until that day, September 23rd, 2015, Yom Kippur. So again, the Lord is calling out and reaching out in this message he gave me. Uh, he's saying that these uh, rituals and repetitions, uh, they're not meaning anything to him. What he wants you to do is he wants you to have a repentant heart. So repent, uh, be baptized in Jesus' name, 
Uh, you will receive the Holy Spirit. Uh, it, you can read about that in Acts 2.38. So he's, again, he's saying, I have given ample time for everyone to come forward. So please do whatever you want to do. Uh, call on the Lord. He's, he's talking about your salvation, and you can't find it, uh, his salvation through your own works. And um, again, he's saying, please, uh, come forward uh, and uh, secure your place with him for eternity. He wants you to be with him. He's calling you. He's tugging on you. He loves you. He loves all of us. And praise the Lord and have a blessed uh, day. We're coming upon Passover, and I'll call it Resurrection Sunday. So God bless everyone. Have a healthy uh, next week. And uh, praise God. Uh, tune in again and join me. Amen.